Hello and thank you very much for joining me in the studio today where we paint away the stress of everyday it's life. Now, I was thinking, it's soon to be that time of year so when we see Santa Claus in the sky. I thought it might be a good idea if I did a series of paintings and for some um, Christmas cards. Maybe you could use these ideas, change them a little bit and design your own Christmas cards. But without further ado, let's have a look at the palette, see what colours I'm going to be using today and we'll discuss the painting in more detail. So as you can see, I've got a basic palette set up. This is what they call a wet palette. It's got some tissue paper underneath, uh, anything that's absorbent really. And, um, and it's got some greaseproof paper or parchment paper on top. And it's soaked with water. This leaves the surface damp, as you've heard me say before. Um, I'll put some um, flow improver in there in a second. So the colors I've got are yellow ochre, I've got um, a cobalt blue today. Hmm, that's nice. Any blue you can, if you've got ultramarine blue or a processed blue or, I wouldn't use cerulean blue because it's got more of a green shade to it, but um, I'd use an ultramarine blue if you haven't got any cobalt blue. I got some Prussian blue, some Mars black and some white. It's as simple as and that. So what we're gonna do now, Um, my wife has asked me to do a painting for uh, what we call the snug. It's a little area where we sit down and have a coffee and um, we read a book or something or the kids come and watch a bit of TV, play their Playstations and um, 
it's just a nice little, nice little communal area that I've got in the house. It really is. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to get some more white. I'm going to go back into that um, grey and blue mix. I'm going to add a little bit more blue to it. This time I'm going to add a little bit of cobalt blue to it. So I'm, I'm blueing it up a bit. So what I want to do is, I'm just going to use a brush and make big, a little bit of a, I want a bit bluer than that. There we go. I want to make some sort of a, a mountain shape there like that. Just bringing that down. You you decide what shape your mountain is going to be. Just dragging the brush down on the side there like that. Just just play. Just play. Let it let it happen. Let it happen. I'm just going to change my brush to a slightly smaller brush. So I'm going to get some white now. Just to go to the sides of that. Just like that. What I want to do now, what I really need to do is bring that sky down a bit higher, closer than that. So let's get a let's get that down there. Just rubbing in a bit of that white back into the brush. I'm bringing that down like that. Getting a bit of that blue. Get that bit of that blue in there. Just drag a brush a little bit now. Just put a bit of highlight this in. On these peaks. And let's get a little bit more. I just want to go a little bit bluer. I just want maybe just a little bit of sharpness in there just to I don't want to go too dark I don't want to go too dark let's just bring that down there and just add a little bit of snow in like that so <laughs> let's bring a bit of snow on the front of this mountain or like that. Let's just add a little bit of colour in. There we go. I'll be going. I'll be okay. I want to go a little bit darker now. And I like I like doing snow. I think I think I think may, I think painting snow is really nice. I really do. I like painting snow. So what I'm going to do is come in a little bit darker, maybe a bit darker. Bringing this mountain. down in front of that one. Getting a bit of snow in there. I like to paint thick as well sometimes. There you go. Getting 
give me give me a line I'm gonna put a river in there as well let's get this shape that I'm looking for blue I wanted to make it look nice and cold thinking of mountains as I'm painting which is a bit of fun just put in some shadow dragging across there we go let's get some white just using a brush you can use a, a, a palette knife if you want to, that's, that's, that's fine also. If you find it easier using a palette knife, then you can use a palette knife. It's, it's just sometimes it's nice to see that, you know, you can, you can use, just use a brush if you want to. There's no rules in art. Don't let anybody tell you any different. There's no rules in art. There you go. Slowly drag in. Just a little bit of... Paint across like this. some of them sharp edges like that Whee. <laughs> let's make that just a little bit darker in there there you go So we've got some mountains coming up, some nice glacier type of mountains. Glacier mountains? I did a I did a um I did an iceberg the other week, that's what started all this off. People uh, complaining about me um talking about global warming and that. <laughs> go figure. I think it's a very important thing to talk about, but there we go. It doesn't please all the people all the time and there's nothing you can do about that. But it doesn't worry me, as I've said, so don't worry. I'm not, I, it doesn't really worry me whatsoever. Um, you know, I, I, I look at it like this is my, my, my video channel and I just bring people into my world and discuss what I think is relevant and they don't have to watch. There's more going on in the world anyway then worrying about what people think so we get this really nice deep snow covered mountain there Just let your brush do the work for you. Don't don't worry too much about thinking. Don't think. Just just 
just let it happen. You know, sometimes you can, you can go in and think, oh, I could, I could change that. Maybe I could put a slightly darker blue there. Oh, no, I don't like that. So I'll add a bit more white to it. And um, just, just let it ride. There we go. Bring in uh, a, a nice bank of colour in there now, like this. You can see that see that gap that I haven't painted. Well, that that's not what I'd planned. I did plan on putting a river in there, but I can see a river now. I can see it. Just using Prussian blue, because I think Prussian blue is is a nice icy type of colour. It's got that bit of black to it. This. It's not blue blue, but I know this ice sometimes can can look quite dark. Letting the brush strokes work for you. Don't over blend. There's no need to over blend with something like that. So just going straight into Prussian blue. See how much paint I got on my brush. Just let it do its job. There you go. So we got a bit of a, a river, cold, really cold river flowing along. I'm just checking my cameras are all working. <laughs> it's annoying sometimes that um, we can, I can, I should say, not we. I keep thinking that you're in here with me, but you are really in your spirit, so that's okay too. Um, I, I talk in a way sometimes, and I and I don't realise my cameras are not working. So I think I'm really thick paint on my brush. I want those lines to, of paint to come through like that. Now I'm going to get a bit of blue now, a bit of blue and grey in, into this part. Because I want a bit of undertone colour. Just use up what you've got on the palette, it doesn't matter, it's just a, it's just a bit of an undertone colour. I'm going to put some snow over the top of that in a second. I know it looks a mess, but trust me, it always works out. It always works out. So we need a bit of 
grey over there as well. There we go. Now at this point, I am going to dry that off and go and make myself a nice cup of coffee. Oh, I enjoyed that. It was a nice cup of coffee, that was. Ah. It's nice and uh, been, I don't know, I, I tend to, I've, I've picked up a bit of stress this last couple of weeks. I'm, I, I'm wondering if it's the same where you live, because I'm dealing with things okay, but sometimes stress can be sneak up on you. And this is why I think painting is a wonderful thing to do. So what I'm doing is just lightening up the one side. I've been stuck in already um, well over a week. Oof. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of these people that like to, to get out and about, you know. Don't be afraid to use your finger sometimes. People say, oh, you can't use your finger, but why not? Who said you can't? As I said, there's no rules in art. So just brighten up certain areas. There we go. Just adding a little bit of snow here and there. Get your fingers in there. Get active. Sometimes the best blend you can have is a finger. <laughs> it really is. So, like I said, snow is white, but we need to put some under colour down as well. And that just allows us just, just to see a little bit of the ground underneath. There we are. A little bit of contrast there and that's all we need to do really isn't it so we need to bring this down a bit now there's some snow being falling there it's been really heavy some of the ice has been melting and the snow has been flowing down the mountain side and going on to the, making a little river there you go Make your stories up as you go along, that's important. Gives a life to your painting then. Gives life to your painting. I mean, a nice, nice, like a, like just the yeah, ice. It's just turned into ice. It's that cold. It's been that cold that the river is just turning icy, but it's still flowing a little bit underneath. And that's the thing. And okay, now let me wash this brush. I'm gonna maybe find a. I got a little. Where's that gone? I just do. Yeah, I just found this little tiny little fan brush. I don't know if this is going to work, so, but I'm gonna try. I want to make a bit of green. That's why I got the yellow ochre out for. To mix that. It's like a like an olivey green I find. It's like um it's a really nice type of dull green then. Well it's a really nice dull type of green that is. So I'm just gonna Just put a few, maybe a little distant trees like this. Just in the background there, like that. And let's just make it a little bit bluer. Let's put a few.
Trees this side. A little bit of green against the blue looks really good. Put a bit more snow in there in a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to darken this up again. A bit of Prussian blue this time. A bit of Prussian blue and yellow ochre. A bit of Prussian blue and yellow ochre. Make a nice dark colour. If you haven't got a fan brush, just use any brush that you think you can work well with. That's the most important thing. We put one tree there. We put another tree, say there. Oops, my hand slipped then. And we put another tree, say. There, like that. We'll just use the edge of this brush. Oh. little baby one I'm gonna put over there oh, on his own oh that's got a friend never mind there you go a tree over there let's put a couple of trees sing when, when you're painting sometimes I sing well hum, hum, hum. I've, gone, I've gone to be I've gone to be quite a hummer <laughs> I, hum, I hum a lot uh, it must be an age thing I think I don't know I love painting Christmas scenes we have had a lot of upset this year so it's nice to do something um, decent like this I think Let's get a bit of white now on the brush. Put a little bit of snow on these trees, like this. I paint one of these every year, just to put up as like a little design. Um, in in the you know snug as I said goes on the wall and it's just a little Christmas scene just put a bit of shadow down there like that put a bit of snow there now in a second there you go Let's get some more snow in just bear them in a bit like that we could put some more snow on these trees. Don't overdo it. Just enough. Just enough. Get some snow then. And just layer it down like this. Get a big lump of paint. And just layer it in. If you can thicken your paint up with some of my thickening gel if you want and you can do that and it'll look really 
like a Bob Ross type of snow effect if you want to put that on there and a bit of green showing through there like that set it off I think I think I'll just set it off a bit we could get a I got a very thin brush here I'm going to get a little bit of black this time I want to darken that up a bit I maybe just put a Broke a little branch there and maybe a couple of twigs just sticking out. Who knows? You make it up, it's your painting. Get a bit of snow. bed these in there you go just just add into it a little bit let's get a little bit of white paint now a little bit of my retarder just to thin it down a bit what I want to do now is just put a few little lines across just like that and maybe Get a bit of Prussian blue. I tell you what we'll do. Just wash that out very quickly. Get a bit of Prussian blue. This is a good little trick. You put a little bit of shadow just under the bank like that. And it'll make it stand out more. There you go. It's an amazing little trick. Like that. Just an amazing little Time trick. To learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. There you go. And there's a little winter scene and that you can use for a Christmas subscribe. card.